Hello everyone, it's SharkyOne4 and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 1 Anniversary Edition. Last time, we used the Nitro Powder and blew up something in Mount Duergar, or whatever it's called. Basically, to give us access to this part of the world, yeah. Not only that, but we actually have access to a lot of the world. As you can see, the water can lead us all the way down to the left, to those docks. However, you shouldn't go there yet because you can't really do anything there anyways. You're gonna end up getting blocked off eventually. So you actually want to come in here now. First off is the inn. This one actually costs 100 gil. I believe that's the same amount as the previous one, right? Um, was Alfheim? Yeah. So that's good. You know, they didn't bring up the charge. But anyways, restore the crystals to grace, okay? What do you have to say? The vampire attack, destroying our church and leaving our city in shambles. Is there nothing we can do to stop the reunion of the earth? Um, I don't know. Restore the crystals to grace, alrighty. So as you can see, there's a weapon shop there. Um, what other people are there? I already talked to you. There's a white magic shop over there. If the earth crystal regains its glow, life will return to the earth. The hills and valleys will again be green. Hmm, okay. I'm just a farmer. Alrighty, whatever. Um, stop on my, stop on my father's shop. Okay, alrighty. Down there you get taken outside of the place which you don't want to go. What's his name? I... Oh my god. I've gone all the way from Duergo to, to... I can't really talk to this. To find out the Springfield of Earth's Decay or whatever. Okay. And you... In the cave on the southern tip of this continent lives a man named Sada. He is a wise man who knows much. Alright. Um, anyway, so here's a destroyed place. That's probably the church that they were talking about. Yeah, there's no church, huh? That's kind of weird. Long ago... Uh -huh, okay, now it's falling into ruin. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and visit the shops, but I think actually first we have to talk to this last person. He'll be just about any kind of rock. Okay, a giant in the mountains or in the cave? What? Alright, whatever. Whatever. Thank you. Hello there. There is nothing I, the great genius Dr. Oon, cannot do. What? You never heard of me? Inconceivable. Alrighty. Well, you're kind of weird. Um, over here. The Cavern of Earth is to the south of Melman. On a peninsula called the Devil's Tail. It used to be the closer you got to that cave, the more fertile the soil. Now, now it's a barren waste. Hmm, alrighty. And you, the last person. The earth is decaying and it's all the doing of the vampire that lives in the cavern of earth. Our town is in such a rotten shape because he's blocking the flow of the power of earth. Will you stop him for us? I will try. Anyways, we visited the inn. Now let's go to the armor shop. Because there might be some stuff here, but first off, let's go ahead and sell our other stuff, such as this helm that nobody can equip. And this mithril mail, which, wow, 3,000 gil. And an ether, no, not an ether. Uh, Warebuster. 3,000 gil, wow, alright. Next thing, let's go ahead and sort our items, there we go. And now let's go ahead and shop. Alright, knight's armor, this is very expensive. 36,000 gil, oh my god, I'm not gonna buy it. Silver armor, I could actually use at least one more, maybe two if it actually does benefit John, but I'll have to see. Great helm, we actually just got that, so that's good. Bronze gloves, only you can equip it. Steel gloves, you already have them equipped. So we're good in everything except probably another silver armor. Let's go ahead and take a look if it can benefit John. We gave it to Elysia, the first one. All right, you'll benefit from it greatly, and you, no, not you. You will also benefit from it. Okay. I will give you the silver armlet. And I will also go ahead and buy one more. Okay. And basically now, now what does it do to Shiny if I give it to him? Let's see. Alright, yeah. Loses a lot of defense, huh? Okay. So I'm going to give you the silver armlet. There you go. 11 more defense. That's a very good improvement. Now let's go ahead and sell the copper armlets because we don't need them anymore. Sell both. 800 gil. Alrighty, there we go. Those were some nice upgrades. Now the weapon shop. The weapon shop is down here. Let's go ahead and enter it. And buy. Okay, crows here. We already tried that, but no, no way. Saber. You guys are going to go down. Longsword. Okay, that's actually an improvement. And falchion. No. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try out one by one longsword. Just to try out if it can benefit them both. If it can, then I will gladly equip it. Longsword, you will go up by one, but accuracy down by five. And you with the rune blade, up by two accuracy. You know what? I'll give it to you. 
but I'm not gonna buy a second one just for one more damage. I don't think I should be losing five more accuracy just for one more damage, right? Eh, whatever. There we go. Okay, so we're all done there. Now we have the white magic and black magic. And as you can see, there's no item shop in here. There's no normal item shop. That's kind of a problem anyways. Here we get access to the level 5 magic. But the problem is that our white mage and red mage are not a high enough level to be equipping this. Yeah. In order to increase the, you know, what I call it, the um, magic level, we have to level up our characters more. But these are some very good skills. Kiraga, Life, Diaga, and Hilara. Kiraga is an even better one than Kira. Life restores somebody, so it's basically like a phoenix down, but without the item usage. Diaga, even better for undead, and Hilara restores HP to entire party. This is very difficult to decide what to be getting, it really is, so I, I don't know, but... Anyways, black magic. Yeah, because see, all four of those white magics are actually very useful. Here we get Fyraga, Scourge, Teleport, and Slora. Fyraga is an improved version of Fyra, deals fire damage to all foes. Scourge instantly kills all foes, but not automatically, like, I mean, not always automatically, you know, it, sometimes it fails. Teleport transports party to previous floor, that's actually very useful to be having. Slower redu reduces one foe's number of attacks. So from here, Teleport and... Fyraga, I guess, and maybe slower, or I don't know, the scourge or slower, which one's better, but that's pretty much it for Melman. As you can see, the town is in trouble because of a vampire that apparently did some trouble here. So our next goal is actually to go ahead and find that place. And yes, we of course have to go over there to the left side. So let's go. So yeah, as you can see, there are many places. There's actually four different areas, although there's actually three be- Oh, wolves? Wolves in this place? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. You can't be doing this, no. You cannot be having wolves in this area, and, and it's also even more annoying when I don't let you escape. You gotta be kidding me. Are you serious right now? Can you please stop attacking me? Are you kidding me? What kind of wolves don't- Oh my god. You guys are just asking to get killed, like seriously. This is ridiculous. That's what you guys get for not letting me escape, okay? There you go, you guys are all dead now. But we barely get any experience because it's- Oh wow, and we actually leveled up with that. That's kind of funny. But yeah, there's a lot of areas over here as you can see, so let's go ahead and, well, try them out. Alright, so we're right here. There is a cave from- is it close or far? Let's see. No, no, it's still more south. Whoops, okay. More south. Um, yeah. Down here now, if we head this way, no, dude, better be something good. Tarant, really? Really? No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. Why am I fighting the same freaking enemies? You know what? I'm gonna have to cut these battles. Yeah, okay, after this one, I'll cut them if I keep seeing the same ones. Because it just gets very annoying, you know, seeing the same stuff over and over again. Like, seriously. Alright, please kill this damn thing. Thank you. Okay, as I was saying, let's go. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, shadows. We've only fought these like one time, so I guess it's whatever. Okay, I'll just show them then. Let's go ahead and use a Diara and defend. You should be able to kill them in one shot. And that should be a lot of experience too, so let's see. And 157, eh, not bad, I guess. I mean, I thought it was going to be over 200, but okay. Here there's a giant's cave. Alright. So what, what are you doing to Giant's Cave there? Because as you can see, so far it's only one way. Huh, you shall not pass. That's it. Yeah, that, that's seriously it. I wanted to show this because our next goal is actually to get past here. So we go, ooh. Um, okay, well, some new... No, no, wait, no, they're not. Wait, you get here. Wait, is there a new enemy? No, it's not. We already saw an older chief, right? You know, I'm going to open up the best cherry after this because I want to see... Okay, I really, I, did I show an ogre chief or an ogre mage? Because I know there's one of two. And I know we've seen one of those two, but I forgot which one it was. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, down, down, down. Oh, really? Okay, well, no new enemies. And we had, that means we already encountered it. Okay, the ogre chief. Alright. Yeah, we have to go there next. The giant's cave. 
However, in order to go there, we have to actually come down here first to this place. This crazy place over here. Down here. Dude. Shadow. More of them, huh? Alright. Let's go ahead and get a DR going. And more defense. Thank you for attacking first. You just saved our butts. No less, no, seriously. And a good experience. And John level up as well. Not bad. Okay. So as I was saying, we have to go down here. Now which way is it? I think it's over here. Yeah, it is. This cave right here. This cave. It, Dude. And more shadows? Well, these are actually fun to be killing in this one shot. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure this will be enjoyable to see them. Look at that. She keeps going first every single time. That's crazy. And there. I am kind of burning my MP, you know, if I keep doing this. But hey, it's so fun. Okay. Cavern of Earth. Basement Floor 1. Oh my god. This place is actually pretty confusing. There's a lot of places to go, as you can see. So you're like, what the hell do I do? We will be showing that, but first off, let me show you this place. If you go down and then to the left from here, you will get taken to a place. Well, actually, you can also go up and, like, directly left. You will get taken to this corner, which actually has fixed encounters every single time, and you're all, pretty much always going to be fighting these things. Yeah, that's right. These things are known as Hill Gigas. They're pretty powerful enemies. I mean, probably not at this point in the game, because I think you can actually encounter these a bit earlier in the game if you get lucky or unlucky if you're one of those people who doesn't like yeah see that 219 if you keep going forward you're gonna encounter an enemy every single time these are fixed encounters okay this is actually pretty scary I probably should not have done this um I'm gonna go ahead and do a heal hopefully you don't go first though I'm also gonna use a Thundara oh damn yeah they're they attack pretty yeah, pretty strong as you can see. Alright, there's a heal going. That's gonna help us a bit. There we go. Thundara, let's see how much damage you do. Alright, that wasn't enough to kill anyone, but whatever. Alright, I should be killing one. That wasn't enough? Are you serious? Oh my god. This is actually pretty damn scary. Alright, um, let's go ahead and do another heal. Yeah, this is gonna kind of a tough battle here. Go ahead and do another Thundara. Please don't kill any of them. No, no, yeah. Attack him. Attack Shiny. That's good. He can tank your, he can tank your attacks very well. Another heal. Why not? There we go. Alright. This thing should kill both Hill Gigas, maybe? Because now they're both taking a lot of them. Okay, well. There we go. And yeah, the Lizards don't have as much health, but they're pretty powerful if combined with the Hill Gigas. We just got a ton of experience in a lot of them. Did you see that? 516 and over 1800, I'm not going to keep going forward because that's dangerous, but as you can see, they're fixed encounters. They're always going to be encountering something every single step. So you don't want to go there. Basically, it loops into a side U-shape. I'll, I'll just show off the other entrance point once I kill these people. Okay. Alright, I'll be killing them this turn now. Everybody attack. I should be able to kill them this turn, yeah. Alrighty. And one more hit, probably. 99 more, there we go. But yeah, these guys give a lot of experience, as you can see. You can farm a lot in here, you can. However, it is also pretty dangerous. So yeah, this place right here, if you go bottom left, links up to right over here, top top left. Anacondas, okay, at least they're not new enemies, because I'm going to be in the part fairly soon. So yeah, I'm up to almost 14 minutes. Yeah. Alright, there we go, Anaconda's down. But yeah, over there, as you can see, it's going to be a side U-shape. If you keep going there, it's going to go down to a loop. So these two, they're not places to advance in the cave. Next time, we're going to be exploring this cave, though. The Cavern of Earth. So yeah, goodbye, everybody, and until next time.